Good morning, friends. It's 8.15. You already know. Coffee time. We got a... Leo picked these up for us. These are the Dunkin' Donuts K-Cups. We're going to get those bad boys going. Um, you, know, you already know. Ray Dunn mindset is everything. So our lineup, I'm going to do... I got a brand new Super Creamer. This is 40 grams of this. I'm out of Cool Whip, and I need to make more. I just didn't get around to it. A little bit of cinnamon. I'm going to do cinnamon. I was thinking about just putting a little bit of this Chalk Zero chocolate syrup like around the cup, right, right? A little bit of sweetener and then my Perfect Keto collagen, obviously with the coffee. But yeah, so I think I'm going to try that. I really wish I had some more um, Cool Whip. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have any more right now. I got to make some. So and I'll maybe I'll do that later on. But so yeah, we're going to try that out and kind of do a like mocha coffee. I don't know. So yeah, we're gonna turn the coffee on and yeah, 40 grams of the super creamer, scoop of this bad boy, a couple packets of sweetener, some chalk cereal chocolate syrup. This stuff is so good. And yeah, so let's get the show on the road. All right, so if you're wondering, that's kind of what I did. I don't know if it's gonna taste good. That's about 10 grams, so that's half of a tablespoon. So we'll see, hopefully it's uh, pretty tasty. All right, so honestly, it doesn't taste like much. It would taste way better with the Cool Whip with the chocolate on there. I might put just a little bit more, but anyways, this is our uh, cup of coffee for the morning. Let's get started on this full day of eating keto while intermittent fasting. Hey guys, good morning. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Um, yeah, today we have a full day of keto eating while intermittent fasting. I said that, you already know. Um, today is, well, you'll see this video tomorrow, which is Friday, but today's Thursday. And today is... As of today, which you're seeing this video Friday, the city of Chicago has entered, not city of Chicago, the state of Illinois has entered into phase three. Phase three, each phase is different per state, but for phase three for us is um, non-essential businesses are opening back up. And yeah, so, and everything's like limited capacity and stuff like that. So um, actually today though is, uh, our first appointment back at ortho for Rhea. You guys have been here for a while. I kind of talked to you guys about it. Um, Rhea was actually supposed to get her braces taken off. Um, she's missed three appointments. So she was supposed to actually get her braces taken off um, first week of April. So everything closed down here um, March 13th and then they were only taking emergency appointments um, at the time. So they, uh, I called yesterday and I told them, you know, she's kind of back behind and her gums are very um like her cheeks are um like bleeding and then they get calloused over it's very painful for her because every it's she's so far behind so um we've been trying to make do with it but you know i called and i said you know is there any way we can maybe even just i don't think they'll be able to take them off just yet because they're gonna want to see um i said can you just you know maybe readjust them and stuff because everything opens up tomorrow so anyways they're getting her in today her appointment's in a half an hour leo's home so he's gonna take her it's weird it's weird because we had to fill out a questionnaire and um when we get there we have to shoot them a text tell them that we're there and then follow the protocol that they have so definitely strange but nonetheless i haven't shown my face on the last two full days of eating i've been struggling you guys know i hurt my back and then i wasn't feeling good um so um not like covid or anything but um i had to be put on some antibiotics and stuff like that so it was just kind of like a whirlwind of things in these last two weeks my anxiety has my anxiety has been really 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 bad like really really bad so um i've definitely been struggling i have like anxiety then my anxiety kind of goes into like a depression it's it's really it's a really a slippery slope for me and it's hard for me to kind of pull myself out and the fact that i i feel like i can't work out or anything i just get more depressed and then but i've been really good about my eating um it's just you know you kind of just when your mind kind of you don't just your mind my mind wanders and then i google stuff and i'm like dang you know anyways <coughs> so yeah i'm sorry i haven't shown my face on here but I'm feeling sorry much better today my spirits are definitely getting higher um i'm uh pretty much clear to start working out next week so we'll start doing that again but um i haven't gained any weight which is good and um as of this morning i haven't lost anything either so as long as we stay pretty solid i think we're good but yeah so we're gonna do a full day of eating i'm gonna do a crock pot meal today we're gonna put that on a little bit later because it doesn't need to be as on as long 
and yeah it's gonna be a really great day so thank you guys for being here and i'm gonna have my coffee and get ready off to ortho and i will check in later so all right guys here we go all right my friends i'm gonna go ahead it's 9:53. i'm gonna have me one of these little too good yogurts and kind of chill out and uh relax so i'm not really that hungry but i want to get something in my belly before i eat my have my vitamins so this is the blueberry one they didn't really have a wide variety so this is what we're gonna have and then i'll check in with you guys these are pretty good though i enjoy them all right so this is what kind of meat is this lee a pork tenderloin is that a pork tenderloin a pork loin all right so this is a pork loin and it's just you know obviously a slab but i'm going to just go through and cut them into pork chops this is about two um it's, it's about three pounds so it was like two pounds 15 ounces so it's about three pounds so i'm going to cut them into steaks and we're going to toss these into the slow cooker not steaks pork chops that's what i'm gonna cut them into all right so i have the um like about three pounds of the pork loin cut up into pork chops and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a packet of this ranch dressing and i'm going to sprinkle it over and I'm gonna take about 10 tablespoons of the curry butter and just cut it into pieces and then spread it out amongst that. And I'm gonna cook it on medium. You could probably do high for four hours. I'm gonna, you know what, I'll probably cook mine on high. Um, let's cook it on high for about four hours or so. And we get that going. This is just my kasori um, crock pot. But yeah, so about 10 tablespoons of the curry butter with a packet of ranch seasoning and I'm just going to sprinkle it over a top. And then we're gonna make a cream sauce with the left, leftover drippings, whatever's left in the crock pot when this is done. But, and then we're gonna have some mash, um, what is it called, mashed cauliflower, like cauliflower mashed potatoes or whatever. And we're gonna use the gravy and put it over the pork chops and also over the um, mashed cauliflower. So, real easy. All right, so this is how it is looking, real simple just and it's going to be real good so you know um pork loin is super lean so it's a high amount of protein but we are going to get that extra fat in there with the butter don't forget that you are going to um get it this is kind of dirty because of the ranch seasoning packets if you opted to make your own ranch you could totally do that but nonetheless it is still low carb and um, when you go ahead and submit everything into your recipe builder, and I would probably do, um, what I'm going to do is take um, the three or the six, the three pounds of pork chops or the pork loin, and then divide them. You know, I'll have and the serving will be a pork chop. So that's kind of how I'm going to do it. But you'll put everything into your card manager and build your recipe that way. But yeah, so you just kind of dump it and go it. And that's it. So we'll check on this in a couple hours, but dinner is already started and it's gonna be really good, really easy. And that's it, that's how we roll around here. All right, so let me go ahead and show you what we're having for lunch. It's about 11.20. So right here is five ounces of skirt steak. Leo made this yesterday on the grill and we just had leftovers. This is 70 grams of an avocado and then one of these extreme wellness um, high fiber wraps. So that's what we're having. And oh, sorry, 15 grams of Daisy sour cream. So we're just gonna have like a little steak burrito, you know, just kind of eating up our leftovers from the from the night before. All right, so let's check on these pork chops here. I'm just gonna figure out a place to put this lid. We'll just slide that right there. So you can see all the butter. So I'm just kind of breaking them up so they could have, I don't, I still want them to kind of stay formed. I don't want them to become like mushy. So, but, cause I hate when it gets like mushy. So I'm just gonna make sure that they're kind of all submerged in the, oh, sorry about that, hold on. I wanna make sure that they're all like submerged in the sauce but we're going to actually add a little heavy whipping cream to this we're gonna we're gonna pull out all the pork chops and we're gonna add a little heavy whipping cream and some uh like baking binder you know like xanthan gum or whatever you got um to the broth and we're going to make a gravy with it so and we'll put that over our mashed cauliflower so it's really good and it was so easy which is 
what I'm always about. And we're not heating up the house because I hate heating up the house when it's warm outside. So it looks good and it smells really, really good. So we're going to leave this on. We still got a little bit of time left on there. But yeah, so they would have me a little snack. So we'll see what we can come up with. All right, so what I'm going to have is some of these uh, pork rinds. These are the ones I get from Aldi. Now I'm just going to do a serving. So what is this, like 14 grams? It doesn't seem like a lot, but these are like really, really light. So you get a pretty decent sized bowl. And what I'm going to do is just sprinkle some of this Frank's Red Hot um, Buffalo sauce over it just to give it a little, a little kick. It's actually really good so um also what's really good is some lime juice with some like louisiana hot sauce but i don't have any of that or if you wanted you could actually mix um this buffalo sauce with some sour cream and use it as a dipping sauce that's actually really good too um but whatever your choice is so i'm just going to do it this way though so i'm going to go ahead and weigh that out and that's going to be my afternoon snack all right first things first is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put these um frozen cauliflower rice into the microwave for about five minutes and get that cooked up because that's what we're going to use and we're going to throw it in the food processor and we're going to make our mashed cauliflower with the frozen cauliflower rice and then i'm going to go into my crock pot and i'm going to remove all the chops and just put them on this like side plate right here because we're going to use what's left in here um, to make our broth okay so you see in here we still have like the melted butter and the ranch dressing and all that stuff what we're going to take is some heavy whipping cream this is just the organic one you guys can see I'm gonna take one half a cup of that and then I'm going to take my baking binder this is the one I use it's the not xanthan not war baking binder um, I get mine from Whole Foods you can use if you use xanthan gum whatever you want to use but we're gonna take a half a teaspoon initially and we're gonna stir that in um, go in with a lighter hand initially just because I feel like this stuff thickens up really really quickly so if you need to add a little bit more, then add a little bit more. So you're just going to whisk everything. So it's kind of a one pot meal too, which is nice for cleanup. Just making sure everything is all stirred up. Okay. I'm probably gonna add just a little, half a teaspoon more just because my baking binder is kind of weak. So it needs a little bit more than just like a xanthan gum. So just kind of go in there. And I'm also going to add in some fresh black pepper just to season the broth. And there is some meat chunks in here too. So it'll be really good. This is like, a, this would be a really great Sunday meal if you didn't want to see. You could tell it's already thickening it up too, but not too much where it's still like kind of a gravy consistency. Let's add in that fresh black pepper. I feel like I haven't done a crock pot meal in a while, so I thought it was about time. So. There that is, and then we're just gonna go ahead and throw our lid back on. And let it heat up and thicken up. And then while this is thickening, we're gonna go ahead and start on our collie mash. Okay, so in here I have the whole bag of the already microwave steamed um, rice cauliflower. What I'm going to toss in there is a tablespoon, uh, I think it's one and a half tablespoons of Kiri's butter. I have this already made out on my um, carb manager. I'm gonna take some pink Himalayan salt, give it a couple springs here, a couple little, little pinches, I don't know what the hell it's called. And then, some black pepper and then I'm going to food puree it all right I'm going to go in now and add a couple tablespoons of sour cream just to make it creamy you could add cream cheese in if you want as well I'm just not doing that today so we're gonna go ahead and put that back in there and let it mix up again all right and then i'm just gonna pull it out to show you the texture i don't know if you guys can see all right there you go so it's literally the perfect form this uh ninja like system that we got i think we got it at walmart for like 100 bucks and it came with everything and it is so worth it so um yeah this is what we got here and they taste really good so that's already all set up 
Let's go over and check on our gravy. It's a little bit watery, but I don't want to add too much to it either. So just kind of give it a good stir. I mean, it's sticking a little bit. I've done it before where I've had too much of that stuff and it's, oh, see, the, the more you stir, the thicker it gets, so. And it's heating up still, so I think this is gonna be all good. Plus, you got the little bits of the meat that kind of, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, it's starting to, you can see it's coating the spoon. So I'm just gonna stir this, keep whisking it up so it thickens a little bit more. That baking binder I use, I get mine at Whole Foods, but they sell them everywhere now. And like, if you look in like the perfect, so definitely. Um, if you look in the like vegetarian aisle, you know, where they have all the like gluten-free stuff too, you'll see um, the guantum gum or whatever it's called, so. But all right, so this is thickening up nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up and then we'll be back. All right, so here is my mashed potatoes. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and just, how I'm setting it up is I'm using the, that is my base. And then I'm going to add in two pork chops. These pork chops really shrink too, guys. Hold on, Mickey. Just adding that in right there. And then I'm gonna take my gravy And then I'm gonna put that over the top just like that. And you can tell it's really thickened up really nicely. Where you at? And then there you go. Doesn't that look so good? It's like a smothered pork chop, like a ranch pork chop. I don't know. Whatever. It's just pork chops with some like gravy on it and some mashed potatoes. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead. This is my portion. So I gave myself two servings of the rice and or um, the the mash the mashed potatoes and the two pork chops, with the gravy. So here you go. That's what's for dinner. So I also wanted to show you guys that the reason why I put that those pork chops on later is because I want the meat to still. I don't want it to be mushy, and you could tell here it still has like a consistency. So you're able to actually. Like that's the one thing that we don't like about crock pot meals is when the meat turns to mush and this still has a bite to it. So um, that's why I choose to do it that way. But if you if you wanted to do it like eight hours, I would highly suggest putting them in still like semi-frozen. Then you would still have a little bit of texture to your meat. So that's just my tip. All right, before I start my fast, I forgot to take my supplements today. So me and leo have been taking these for like a week now right or no since sunday so four days and what do you think lee they're pretty good what do you think about um you've been taking the joint support too right well i like the joint support one because i take like three different ones yeah and that one's got it's got everything on it yeah it, I should say. no and then you like the the grass-fed beef liver too right because that's kind of helping you what you're eating? Keeping me honest, because if you eat like shit, it's gonna let you know. <laughs> yeah, he says if it's keeping him honest, because if he eats bad, it, it clears him out. So yeah, I've been taking this grass-fed beef liver, um, the apple cider vinegar ones, and then obviously my electrolytes. So I take two in the morning, and then I take two at night, and then immune booster just because um, you need it right now. Honestly, I would probably only take this during flu season, but since you know life's happening right now, I got to take it all the time. And then the joint support, which I'm really hoping that when I start working out again next week, I can really see the improvement on my knees. So I know I'm taking me a whole lot of supplements, but um, I need it. You know what I mean? But all right, yeah. So we're gonna let this food digest and I think we're pretty much gonna wrap up this full day of eating, but I wanted to hurry up and get these in before I start my fast because the only supplements I take during fasting are the electrolytes. Here we go. All right, so here are the macros. It's 341. We have 17 out of 20 net carbs, 50 total carbs. Um, I follow net carbs as long as I stay under 20. We are golden. I need to take these nail polish off because it looks god awful. Uh, 97 fat, 100 in. 31 protein 15 24 macros so um about about right i like to do between 15 15 and 16 50 so 15 24 is okay again 
when you're making these recipes, it might be a little bit more, it might be a little bit less. It is what it is. There's no exact science to it. You know what I mean? Um, you just put everything in and you just kind of go with it that way, okay? So um, we have the skirt steak we ate today, the sour cream, the avocado. This is the Carb Manager app. Um, the chocolate syrup and our coffee, which was pretty good, would be much better with Cool Whip. Um, the yogurt, the creamer, um, the tortilla, and then my creamy cauliflower, my pork rinds, and then my pork chops. So real easy eating. Um, I will um, link this recipe for the pork chops in the crock pot down below. It was really, really good. This is definitely a Sunday meal, especially like if you have like crappy weather or it's really hot or you got somewhere to go, toss in the crock pot. I think you'll be all good. So yeah, hopefully you guys found some dinner motivation and hopefully by the video we see next week, I will be back working out. Fingers crossed. But I love you guys and I will see y'all on the next one. Take it easy, friends.